This video demonstrates embolization in an amplex plug placement for a right lung lower lobe arteriovenous malformation in a 64-year-old female who presented with complaints of shortness of breath. She also has a history of liver and kidney transplant demonstrated here on this CT scan of the chest a 1.8 cm right lung lower lobe pulmonary AVM. We decided to treat this endovascularly. Under ultrasound guidance, the right common femoral vein was accessed with a mini stick needle followed by the wire and micropuncture sheet. We then introduced a Benson wire into the inferior vena cava. This was followed by advancement of this wire into the main pulmonary artery. This was done with the help of a guiding catheter such as a burnt catheter. Once the wire was advanced into the main pulmonary artery, the catheter was advanced over the wire. We then selectively cannulated the right main pulmonary artery as demonstrated here. Once this was selected, our wire was advanced into the right lung pulmonary arteries. Following this, a quick cross catheter was introduced into the pulmonary arterial circulation. This was done to exchange for a stiffer wire. A pulmonary angiogram was then performed through this catheter to confirm our catheter position in the pulmonary arterial circulation. A Rosen wire was then introduced via this catheter. This would allow us to exchange for a sheath. Next, a 6 by 90 millimeter sheath was then brought through the right common femoral vein access site and advanced into the right main pulmonary artery. Care was taken to advance this sheath so the wire doesn't track back. The fiduci markers shown on the screen are made possible after fusing the preoperative CTA with bony landmarks on the fluoroscopy. The right big blue circle on top of the screen demonstrates the left main pulmonary artery and the right circle adjacent to it demonstrates the right pulmonary artery. The smaller red circle towards the left end of the screen demonstrates the feeding pulmonary artery into the AVM. The green line indicates the course of arterial inflow into the pulmonary AVM and the venous outflow. The blue mark at the end of the green line is the inferior pulmonary vein. The blue circle just inferior to this is the inferior vena cava. A pulmonary angiogram is then performed through this sheet, better delineating the anatomy of this pulmonary arteriovenous malformation. A guiding catheter is then introduced and a glide wire is then used to selectively cannulate the feeding artery into this pulmonary artery as demonstrated in this video. The wire is advanced followed by advancement of the catheter into the feeding pulmonary artery and once this is selectively catheterized a repeat angiogram is performed to better delineate the anatomy of this pulmonary arteriovenous malformation. This angiogram revealed two main arteries feeding into this pulmonary AVM that are marked with red arrows on this screen. Next, a microcatheter is introduced in the lower branch and based on our measurements, we decided to perform coil embolization of this lower feeding branch into the pulmonary AVM. Once the microcatheter was advanced into this branch, we introduce our 5 mm by 15 cm interlock coils into this arterial branch. We use two coils. A repeat pulmonary angiogram was then performed after coiling of this inferior branch feeding the pulmonary AVM. We then selectively catheterize the upper branch feeding into the pulmonary AVM using a guide catheter and a glide wire. 
once this branch was selected our catheter was advanced over the wire into this feeding branch a repeat pulmonary angiogram is then performed and the size of this feeding branch was then measured so we can put our amplats plug in it we then advanced a sheath over this catheter and wire into this larger feeding branch into the pulmonary AVM once the sheath was advanced we repeated our angiogram and remeasured the size of this feeding branch it roughly measured around 6 mm we decided to use an 8 mm amplats plug and this was brought through the sheath into this feeding branch of the pulmonary AVM the sheath was retracted back as demonstrated here and the amplats plug is then deployed into this larger branch a repeat angiogram is then performed with the plug in place a completion angiogram is then performed that shows successful exclusion of this pulmonary AV malformation